Welcome to Indiana News Desk. I'm Joe Wren. The city of Kokomo is in a devastatingly familiar position after a tornado ripped through the city this week. It's the second time the town's been hit in less than three years. Indiana's Department of Homeland Security says the storm produced at least a dozen tornadoes across the state. The National Weather Service says wind speeds peaked at more than 150 miles per hour. Barbara Brozier joins us with more. And Barbara, you were just south of Kokomo when some of those storms passed through the area. That's right, Joe. Just about 11 miles south of Kokomo when I pulled over and shot this video. There were very strong winds and several fast moving clouds ahead of us. Now, by the time we got into town, the sound of sirens was constant and emergency vehicles were everywhere. First responders rushed to help residents. Miraculously, there were only minor injuries. That's tornado. The National Weather Service says a tornado that ripped through Kokomo Wednesday night reached speeds of 165 miles per hour. It was one of several that touched down in Howard County. I was actually on the uh, west end of town when it came into the county and I caught uh, myself behind it and recorded this video as it touched down in uh, Kokomo. Within a matter of minutes, businesses were destroyed and neighborhoods devastated. Oh my God, Starbucks just got blown over. There's people in there. I mean, as soon as we started to pray and, and um, we heard the noise and the ground started shaking, it sounded like a freight train coming through and, and no sooner than it come through, it was gone. Houses tore up, roofs off, cars flipped, trees everywhere. The American Red Cross quickly set up a shelter for those displaced by the storm. More than 200 people came through the doors within the first 24 hours. There was over 100 homes classified destroyed. Um, some of them, this is the second time, 2013. Uh, some of the same areas were impacted. The 2013 storm left thousands without power and damaged several buildings, but there were no deaths. We've experienced this before about two years ago in the middle of town, and um, we know what kind of destruction can really happen with these kind of uh, storms. Now a community that's rebuilt before is faced with the same challenges. Governor Mike Pence and Senator Joe Donnelly toured some of the neighborhoods hit hardest this week. The Red Cross says its shelter will remain open for as long as it's needed, and that could be a while. You always see other people going through it. I've never been through it before. Now that it's hitting home, I understand how it could affect families. Indiana's Department of Homeland Security says the 12 tornadoes that touched down hit Adams, Allen, Blackford, Cass, Grant, Howard, Marion, and Montgomery counties. Those wanting to assist with recovery efforts can contact the Red Cross. They say volunteering or providing financial support helps most. All right, thank you very much, Barbara.